Okay, best new thing in the world. We reported on this show on Friday night that the government of Pakistan was about to ban certain words from text messages. Starting this week, starting yesterday, in fact, the plan was to block any text message in Pakistan that contained one of roughly 1,100 English words or phrases, or about 600 words in Urdu. Now, um, among the words that Pakistan planned to block you from texting in that country were the words flatulence, tongue, fairy, gonorrhea, if you spelled it this one incorrect way, um, also headlights, finger food, love pistol, deposit, and uh, what the English-speaking press, me included, reported as monkey crotch. Pakistanis tell us today it is actually crotch monkey, not monkey crotch, and I believe them. Uh, Also on the banned text message word list, as you probably expect, dozens of phrases that include the F word, including F word phrases I have never heard of, and I consider myself to be a bit of a scholar on these things. Also, 22 phrases that use the word but They are on the banned words list, even though but is also the last name of one of the telecom executives in Pakistan who's being asked by the government to implement the new censorship policy. Mr. But being told to enforce making his own name illegal to text. I spent the entire weekend trying to live down my inability to deliver this news on Friday night with a straight face. I live in a small town. There's not much else to talk about. I couldn't get away from people making fun of me about that. But now, the day Pakistan was supposed to block out the crotch monkey and turn off the athlete's foot and the tongue and the headlights and the ferry, now we get news that the government of Pakistan is maybe backing off. Voice of America reporting that since someone leaked the list of banned words and phrases, quote, social media services like Twitter have exploded with derisive ridicule from Pakistanis. Voice of America saying perhaps the most frequently ridiculed example is the one about the monkey. Can't imagine why. The Pakistani government now says all they were doing actually was a little test run to see if they could block words and text messages if they wanted to. They say now they will release a final, much shorter list of banned words. They're going to do that later after they consult with the phone companies again. Phone companies whose executives include one Mr. Butt which is not that uncommon a name in Pakistan. One hopes that Mr. Butt will be able to at least get that one word cleared on the final shorter banned text message list of words, if ever there is a new list. In any case, for now, I'm happy to say that you can still text butt and athlete's foot and a million F words in Pakistan. For now, you still can. It is a small reprieve for foul-mouthed liberty and the best new thing in the world today. That does it for us tonight. We'll see you again tomorrow night. Now it is time for The Last Word with Lawrence O'Donnell. He'll be recapping tonight's Republican candidates' foreign policy debate. Have a great night.